We are so excited to be catching up with one of the most successful rappers of the last decade. Lacamoire, along with his music partner, Ryan Lewis, first took the world by storm with their 2012 hit, The Heights. <laughs> that, that record spawned mega hits Thrift Shop and Can't Hold Us, earn the, earning the duo four Grammy Awards. They became one of only 20 acts ever to have two Diamond Certified singles. And folks, today, Macklemore out with his fifth album, this one's a more personal work. It's titled Ben. He's going to be performing his newest single in just a moment. But first, uh, he's here to, to catch up. He's back in Studio 1A. Congrats on the new music. Yes. Here to go. Congrats. Thank you. Good morning. I appreciate that. Most of the world knows you, of course, as Macklemore. But the title of this is Ben, so it makes it self-titled. Yeah. So, I mean, as, as you know, someone who's enjoyed as much success as you have at this point in your career, why put out something like this? Mm. Why, why, why give us Ben now? I think the process of making art is to get back to the origin of why we started in the first place. Mm. I've been in this, in this game for a long time, and there's the music and there's the music business, and I wanted to get back to the music, why I started, get back to the heart, peel away the layers, shine light on the creative process for myself so I can be... I can be the best version of me. Yeah. And I think that that's what this process is all about, the creative it's getting right. back to the origin. Yeah, and, and, and talking about that, you, you've been extremely candid about your struggles with addiction, yeah. relapse. You were writing this when that happened. So how did that change, or how did it inform what you were writing and put into this album? I think that life happens, and the best thing to do when you feel that darkness or when you go to that place is to create, mm. is to put it back into the paper, channel it, because in those moments of darkness as an artist, we have the potential to write something that someone else later on in life might be going through that same thing that they mm -hmm. can resonate with and relate to. And I think that that's been the power of sharing my story about the disease of addiction is we can lessen the stigma yes. one by one yes. if we share our right. stories mm -hmm. truthfully honestly and have a conversation i think you're right and then on the other end of the spectrum your recovery experience does that influence your creation at all oh absolutely i mean that's how i connect to god that is my that is my spiritual pathway to something bigger than me and um it's how i stay alive absolutely one day at a time yeah. so the darkness and the light fuel your creativity equally Absolutely, you have to. I love that. I do too. I, I, Balance. Want, I want to bring up this video, this clip that went viral last week of, of your seven year old daughter. We yeah. showed it. Um, we showed it here on the show. Oh, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we did. So, um, so you're asking her to direct your new, your new music video. Yes. I love it. First of all, yes. where, where did the idea come from? How was that born? I, we were sitting there, and she had just produced. I, I have a golf clothing company called Bogey Boys, okay. and I let her produce a shoot. And she killed it. She was styling. She was pulling things together. She was yeah. really adamant with her opinion. She's like, Dad, that outfit is trash. No, that's <laughs> not it. You got that but, but you know what was great about the, the what's great about the video is that it does have the joy yeah. of, of a seven year. It, it's it's kind of childlike, but not in a in a talking down sort of way. Right. There's just a pure joy that's about cool. it. I feel like you can whether you know Sloan or not, you can see it and like viscerally feel. The seven and a half year old energy I love that. that was present during the making of this video. How'd she do? How'd the video? How'd it turn out? She killed it. Oh, she it's, did great. it's terrific. It's, it, you know, the video to me is a, a balance of us. It's a making of the video yeah. and a music video at the same time, and that's what we wanted to do: is show um, what it's like to give a kid some autonomy. Yeah. Give him a camera. And Let him create. Do. Because this is the thing. I was, you know, I'm scared. I'm like, I'm a dad, social media, mm -hmm. all yeah. these things. That's separate from the actual process of just making art. Why don't we give our kids cameras? Why don't we t teach them how to edit? Why don't we teach them how to make content? They're going to be there anyway. Yeah. It's, the, it's the negative side of it. It's the comparison that hurts. Yeah, all right. You're so right. the video's out this morning. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.